Hello guys, welcome back. This is the second video in the Lama Index series and we will be using different techniques here. First thing first, I'm going to use the pine cone as the vector store instead of the default one that Lama Index is providing. And I will be showing you how you can take the data sets from the Hogging Fish website and utilize that into the chat with documents kind of things. By the way, one thing, when you listen about chat with documents kind of things, I hope you have seen this diagram, which I'm explaining a lot. So this is an example of React, right? Retrieval augmented generation. How it works there is you have some document, whatever it can be. You extract the content, split it into chunks, and then there is an embedding API, which does the embedding parts, and then it is stored in some semantic index. Let's say that it creates the semantic index, and that becomes your knowledge base. Knowledge base, meaning that that is now your vector database. And in this case, there are many examples. Last one was about the default Lama index index. But here now I'm going to show you how you can create the index in Pinecone all from the code. You need to have account. Then you can do all the things from the code itself. We don't need to go through uh, clicking in the UI. Then you can ask the question and the same process goes through the query engine and we get the result out of it. Let's get started. This is the Google Colab notebook and I have provided this notebook in the description of the video and it is in my GitHub account. As you can see here, Lama Index with Pinecone. You can just click this open in Colab. It is going to open the Google Colab. Then you can start following this particular tutorial. You need to have the Google account. Of course, I hope you have that. First thing first, we need to install the necessary packages. Here we install Lama index data sets because that is the package that we are going to use to, to take one of the example of one of the example data set. And we have the Pinecone client and we need OpenAI because I'm going to use the OpenAI embeddings as well as model and the transforms. It is going to install and by the way, this percentage percentage capture captures all the outputs that it is providing in the notebook. So we don't see those things in the book itself. This is good or handy kind of magic command to use. All the installation is happening behind the scene right now. Okay, that is done. I'm going to use the squad data set from Hogging Face. If you click this one, it will take you to the Hogging Face account. Let's go through there. So yeah, this is the data set that I'm going to use. What is this data set about? You can just go through this. I'm not going to particularly focus on the data set, but this is just an example to show you how you can do the uh, chat with documents kind of things, right? So this is the data set for Squad. So what is Squad? It stands for question answering data set. You can go through this in depth if you want to know, or you can use your own data set. It's just the example purpose. And yeah, but that is the data set, right? If you go on the Hogging Fish website, there is this data set. All the data sets are here. How to get those data sets? Right, there is a GitHub account for that. If I go here, there is datasets GitHub repo account, but GitHub repo. This is provided by Hogging. We need to install this. So that is what I did here, right? Pip install datasets. And from here now we can get all the datasets that we want from this particular list here. There are 69,828 as of today. It's increasing day by day. So you can just go ahead and search any data set. You can even create your own and upload here. We can just use it for different scenarios. Here, as I said, I'm going to use that. I'm doing here from data sets, import load data set. And I'm loading the data set, the squad data set. I'm just taking the train of that. And if I run this, as you can see here, it is then loaded to pandas. And I'm taking the ID, context, and title. And the drop duplicates is happening here. As you can see here, it is now downloading the data sets, right? Because that is what we want to do. And generating the train split. This is, this is really good way of practicing also instead of loading random data sets. So yeah, now we have the train split, validation split, if you want to use the validation also. And as I printed the top five, it is shown here, the top five. So we have the ID, we have the context, and we have the title, right? So there are three different columns. What we are going to do now is you can just run data.sep 
to see how big the data set is. So there is 18,891 rows and three columns. The following code transforms our data frame into a list of document objects ready for indexing with the Lama index. What we are going to do is take one row as one document. You will get the idea why I'm doing there now. This piece of code does what exactly I told you just now. It is going to provide one row as one document. And here I'm printing document zero. But just for this demonstration purpose, I don't want to use all the, I don't want to use all 18,000 documents because why to spend much API cost? I'm going to just take the top 100 ones. So documents, I take the top, not top, but the first 100. So yeah, now I have 100 rows, meaning that 100 documents. What is the next step? Now is the pine cone step. You need to go to this pine cone. If you don't know what pine cone is, you can go here and read. This is the long term memory for AI, transform your business, all blah, blah, blah kind of things. You can just go here. It is fully managed, fast, relevant results, predictable cost, and so on, right? You can go through this. But on a high level, it is a managed vector database service designed for MLM operations. Machine learning, meaning that whatever, it's vast topic, just Take it as a machine. You need to have the API key. How to get the API key? As I say, you you need to have an account in Pinecode. So app.pinecode.io is the place. I am already logged in here. As you can see, it is giving my name SK, but I don't have any index being created. To create the index, we are going to use Python code. So as you can see here, I imported the Pinecode because I already install it before i need to provide the pinecone api key that's where i said you when you create the account you will get the api keys i'm just going to copy this you can rotate keys so i'm going to show you this you can just click this show value and just copy this because i'm going to rotate this so i'm showing you all the process so i'm now going to the code in this pinecone api key i will paste the key and this one is Pinecone environment. That's what you, you saw here. You see how South is one GCP. This is by default being provided. So your can be different than mine based on the location. Or I don't know how they, how they do this. And then now initialize the connection to the Pinecone. How we do that is Pinecone.init and we provide the API key as well as environment. And after that, we can create the index if it does not exist. So we don't have the index created. If it says here index name, we give the random names. I'm giving here Lama index pinecode. And if index name not in the list, you need to create the index. And that is the part where you need to be careful what dimensions you want to provide. Because I'm going to use the uh, text embedding ADA002 for embeddings. So I'm using 1536 dimensions. So if you are using other than OpenAI's, you need to be careful what dimension you want to provide. And the metric I want to go is cosine. You can refer to the Pinecone documentation in order to use the particular things here. But if you just want to go with what I'm providing, you can just run this code. And here we connect to the index. So this is the code. I will run this. So once this is run, it says here OS is not defined. Okay, we need to import OS. Great. So yeah, now when this is running, now if I go to my Pinecone, as you can see here, if I go to index, there is no index right now. But if I refresh the page, the index is going to be created because now it is connected to the Pinecone from the Google Colab. As you can see here, Lama index Pinecone initializing it is initializing and once this is done it will turn into green our index is being created so as you can see here this is our environment what type is used we don't need to go through this right now dimensions 1536 and this is the url being provided here what we can do now is from llama index vector store we can import the pinecone vector store and as you can see here the name space is just the default one we don't need to provide pinecone vector store 
pine cone index we are just providing the index so that means that we are now ready to go with pine cone vector store okay once the pine cone part is done what is the next step we will initialize the gpt vector store index with our list of documents right so what we do here we import the necessary things from here and then here is the storage context we just provide this and now the next part is we need to have the open api key also for that you need to go to this link i will go to this link as again i'm showing you this because i'm going to revoke this after creating the video you can just provide here ama index create secret key and it is created i will copy this i will go back to google collab and in this place where is your open ai api key i will just go here and paste it here and set up the index query process so embed model so we are taking the open ai embeddings and this is the model we are using and the embed batch size is 100 and the service context is what we are using from default right and then i'm just creating this but by the way if you want to customize this or if you don't want to use the default and if you want to use the one that you want i in my previous video i have already shown you how to do that let me show you the place i have shown you how you can customize the models you want to use so this is the way how you can customize refer to that video the earlier one so that you can use the specific models that you want to use here right so yeah that's all what we can do now is query what we did if i go to this drawing here the first step the load document and create index part is now completed and now all our embeddings as well as the chunks are now in pine what we can do now is ask the question using the query engine provided by llama index and all this question when we ask the question the embedding same embedding api is going to be used and cementing search is going to happen and we will get the answer of it i will just run this first in what year was the college of engineering established at the university of notre dame right so this is the question and that was one of the documents and it provides the answer for me the college of engineering was established in 1920 at the university so that is the right answer just to show you if it crafts the answer let me print the uh, the particular document this is the document let me ask some questions from this document so when was the first year of studies program established at the university of notre dame right so as you can see here i'm taking the question from here the first year of studies program was established in 1962 so we need to get this answer out of it right so if i run this command or if i run this query it must provide me the answer 1962 so as you can see here the first year of studies program was established in 1962 so that is how you get so yeah that's all and one more thing before i complete this video is now we have these things here right but i said to you that everything is stored in the pine cone right if i now go to the pine cone here so before it was just creating this now if i go inside this there should be something here right as you can see here there are different things in the in the index itself and you can just go here and look what is the index about and if you go to the namespace we didn't provide it but it was using by default here is the matrix right there is the request you can even see from here what is the request and if you scroll to be down there is request errors or not what is the request latency if you want to see it what is the performance and all the different things so the pine cone has kind of good ui also to see what is happening when you ask some some questions there so yeah just you can just go here and see okay within five minutes what is happening as you can see here we ask some questions within five minutes so it is showing us what is happening in that five minutes and so on now let's say that we want to delete the index this is just one line of code so it says pine cone dot delete index and you just provide the name of the index because we are practicing we don't want that to be stored there i can just run this line of code and yeah it is going to be deleted now if i go to pine cone the command is still going on there it is still there here but if i refresh this page it's gone if i go back there is no index 
because it says create index. That's how quickly you can create the index. You can delete the index, have the convert, have the query retrieval rag implementation with Pinecone. And yeah, and if you want to know more in depth examples of Pinecone, I have taken this example from the Pinecone GitHub examples. I have provided the link here. You can just go here and view other examples also from Pinecone and how you can use that with Langchain or with the Llama index or whatever you want to do. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you learn now how to use Pinecone in your chat with documents. So the next video, I will show you how you can use the text to SQL with Llama index. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.